guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Jane, and thank you so much for clicking on today's video. Today, we're talking about how to create viral content part two. Can I get a woo woo? Can I get a woo woo? Woo! Yeah. Guys, this is a highly requested video you've been waiting for. If you aren't aware, a month ago I was talking about how to make viral content part one, and you guys loved it so much, you want a part two. This video is honestly straight to the point, not bullshit, okay? We're gonna get in depth. Like last video was talking about emotions and things you can do as a creator, but what if you're not freaking uh, Justin LeBlanc? You know the dude that went viral for like the bridge video with a freaking Reaper shit, and it was really freaky, and it went viral and got millions of hits. So yeah, like what if some people like us are creative geniuses we just are influencers or we make content and we don't know how to go viral or we don't know how to stand out if that's you this video is for you Duh. Yeah, guys make sure you stay to the very end there's actually a surprise you don't want to miss I'm literally gonna film an example talking you through step by step how to go viral I I'm not joking I'm so embarrassed so just don't miss anything all right guys so I got my notes over here oh. So I got my notes right here and we're gonna dive right in. Um, if you're new on this channel, my name's Jane. I'm a 17 year old digital marketer and entrepreneur. Hi, editing Jane from the future. So obviously you can see my bra is showing in the entire clip. So we're just not gonna talk about it. For the longest time when I was doing YouTube and Instagram, I didn't know what to post. Not necessarily because I wasn't creative, but I was afraid and I didn't know what to do because I didn't want to get made fun of at school. And I realized that this is something that's holding you guys back. So I made three tips for you that you can use that will help you actually find the right step. Because I believe in you guys. You guys are dope ass people. I literally had a meetup with y'all a couple days ago. It's so amazing. And I've seen you guys crush it. You're talented people. So you don't necessarily have a skill or talent problem. It's more so just a first step, a direction. So this video is gonna get started with the first tip, which is writing a keyword or a trend. There are certain words that are hot. Um, you guys have to look at a couple tools I will recommend, but you have to know what's hot and what words that are gonna get high search volume. So what does high search volume mean? So what this means is pick a keyword or a trend or a category that is extremely hot. Typically these are fads or trends or things that are in a time period and high popularity. For example, fidget spinner. It was super hot for a little bit. <laughs> I think it still is. Is it still is? Do you have a fidget spinner? Fizz. I just found this in the corner. So another example is an Instagram keyword. On my channel, if you guys wanna check out, I uh, post a lot of Instagram content because I know you guys search for it and I know that I like talking about so basically the first tip in finding viral content is you need to know what's hot. A lot of you guys make content about things you want to see or things that you think people want to see rather than making content about what people actually look for and search for. So think about keywords and popular words. So I use a tool called Google Trends. I will link it below. It's quite popular for people in e-commerce and sales, but I want you guys to apply it to your channel. Check it out. It's super simple. It's, it's free. To just do it. Now, tip number two, supply and demand. This is just basic business knowledge I wanna share with you guys, and I think it's super underrated. No one really talks about this. Yes, you find something that's hot, but on the contrary, what's supply for it? Are there a lot of competition? Is it a saturated market? A lot of you guys are gonna hop onto trends, maybe which is crazy makeup tutorials, or you make a remix of a popular song, but then you forget, Sally, that 40 million people are doing the same thing you're doing. So how are you gonna make it different? It's just important to know how much is out there so you can analyze other people's videos. So what I really recommend is how to go viral, is understand maybe you pick a popular keyword or a popular topic like comedy skits then you have to watch 40 videos about people doing what you're doing and find out what they're missing. For the longest time, I actually watch a lot of channels smaller and bigger than me so I can find out what people are missing. Are there less YouTubers making comedy videos? Are there less people making music? So maybe I should be more creative. It's all about finding those empty spaces that you know that you're good in, not necessarily regenerating new ideas. A lot of you guys have that misconception that viral content is all about being new, crazy loud, but it's really not. It's just understanding supply and demand knowing what people want, seeing what there already is, and finding the middle where you can put yourself in. Anyways guys, before I go to tip three, I just wanna remind you how thankful I am for you being here. I've been receiving so much love lately from my last video and I just wanna say thank you. I created this channel to help you grow on social media and it means the world that you have you're right here, like, thank you. Um, so if you haven't already, make sure you go like this video and subscribe because it'd be so cool to have you join the Dharma Nation. The latest family on earth, yeah! Everything I said is important, but 
It will not work if you don't have step three, which is emotion. Okay, so last time we talked, I will link part one below, but we talked about a lot about emotion and how to make people move and take action. The key to viral video is sharing. It's getting people to move, to send their family, their friends, hey, check out this post, this is insane. My best example is Justin LeBlanc, a photographer on Instagram, posted a crazy video of his edit with the freaking Green Reaper and like a bridge. And if you look at the comments, it's people sharing, tagging, saying, what is this? So how do you insert that emotion and how do you get your followers to share your content? End of the day, the true definition of viral content is just being able to share with mass audiences. So I really believe in inserting emotion. And the one emotion I didn't go over in part one was humor. I think humor has huge power because one, we all seek relaxation. Think about it, when you're on Instagram, it's typically when you're on break, when you're trying to step away from school, when you're not paying attention at work and you're just scrolling, right? So you wanna relax. So I didn't really go over this emotion, but being humorous and funny is a great emotion to insert. Now, a lot of you guys don't know how to be funny or you don't know how to make people smile. That's That actually sounds really sad. But let me put it this way. I think the key with a lot of success and people on Instagram is being polarizing. Say you're not necessarily funny or you're not necessarily stellar, but you can be polarizing in emotion and you're standing out. For example, I, I'm sorry, but the best example is this girl, Little Tay, okay? She did last for a minute. Little Tay doesn't necessarily make us laugh, but because she's so polarizing and so controversial and it goes off the charts, us as users are like, what the fuck? we had shared. I want you guys to insert it in your way. You don't have to copy Little Tay, Kanye, just be you. Find out ways you can make people say, whoa, what is this? Say things that might offend people. Honestly, a lot of you guys are filtering yourself to look perfect when that's really hurting your brand. You should be genuine, say things you believe in and insert it. And let me give you guys an example, finally, I want to express this on my own channel. For the longest time, I didn't want to teach on this platform because I didn't feel good enough. I didn't feel like I was ready to teach. I remember guys, if you don't know, I dropped out of high school. I should make a whole video. Comment below if you want to see a whole video of why I dropped out. But there were people at school, um, my videos would show up on their phone and I'll get super embarrassed because when you become viral, you can also get lots of hate. And I, you guys also might have that fear. So it's super important in that time when you're trying to create content, you know, follow step one, two, and three, that you understand that sometimes you're gonna get punched in the face. But then you have to understand, even when there's hate, there's gonna be a huge supporting family on it. Because with polarization, with being super one-sided on the spectrum, you're gonna get hate regardless. Be okay with that. Be aware that that's gonna happen and that's okay because you're gonna achieve community on the other side of the spectrum. Does that make sense? What I'm saying is like, if you're gonna be on the end, the reason why you don't wanna be what you wanna say, you don't wanna go out there, is because you're gonna piss some people off. But understand there's a community out there on the other end of the spectrum that will get you and that will be your genuine following. And I just wanna give you guys one last example. So a week ago, wait, about a week ago, this is where you guys are waiting for. I basically wanted to give you an example of all these tips combined. I created a song, okay? So I wanted you guys to check out my song Flex on the Gram with Haley Fam and Ryan Trahan. Awesome YouTube friends I met a month ago and we created this as a joke to show you guys how to be viral. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Hey, uh, Haley Fam just posted a new video. Oh, no Swipe way. Swipe up. I put the link in my bio. Hey, what's up, y'all? <laughs> hey, I'm a SoundCloud rapper. Check me out at soundcloud.com slash Lil Pube Music. Boy, Lil Pube, check me out on SoundCloud. I fuck your bitch, cause I got clout now. Just bought a diamond chain and pay my rent, though. See me chillin' with dimes, they worth a cent, though. Screenshot her news, now your bitch wanna fight me. Yeah, I did some drugs, that's why all the teens like me. I just did a show, ho, ain't nobody show, though. And I'm being solo, so I shot the photo. Flex on the gram, flex, flex on the gram. Flex on the gram, like 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 on the gram. Flex on the gram, like 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 on the gram. Flex on the gram, like flex on the gram. Swipe up, I put the link in my bio. Hi, my bio says entrepreneur. That's how you know I'm the shit. Newer. Started my biz when I dropped out of college. Guess what I like more than money? Knowledge. Post on the gram, look at all this engagement. I got all this money so I don't have to fake it. Swipe up, bitch, and buy my fucking course. Elon took my Tesla, so I guess I'll drive the Porsche. Flex on the gram, Elon. like flex on the gram. Flex on the gram, like 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 on the gram. Flex on the gram, like 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 on the gram. Flex on the gram, like flex on the gram. Swipe up, I put the link in my bio. Hey, what's up, you guys? My name is Haley Fam. I see you on the gram, and I say, no, ma'am. Those booties all out, and it is not for me. 
I'm family friendly, yes they all like me. Mm -hmm. Model in your bio, but are you even signed? When I see your pics, I say, oh my, jeez, I do not need to see those thighs. You post at midnight, but ain't it past your bedtime? Go flex on the gram, flex, flex on the gram. Flex on the gram, like 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 on the gram. Flex on the gram, like 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 on the gram. Flex on the gram, like flex on the gram. Swipe up, I put the yeah. link in my bio. I'm drugs, bitch. I have sex with girls and shit. I do drugs, bitch. I have sex with girls and shit. Flex on the gram, flex, flex on the gram. Flex on the gram. Um, <laughs> go listen to that on Spotify. I'll put a link below, please. But anyways, guys, I hope you can see that in action. Basically, to give you a recap, if you don't know how to apply this in your brand, step one, find a keyword. We used Instagram as a high ticket keyword. Two, supply and demand. There wasn't too many people making a song. We did some research on Spotify to see if people were making flex on the gram songs, and there were zero. So we decided that was a good space. And third, emotion. We definitely said some controversial things. My lines were basically making fun of digital marketers. You probably hate me now. <laughs> Anyways, that was video <laughs> hopefully made you laugh and made you feel that it's okay to be out there creative and weird, especially with your friends and people you love. Guys, if you want to listen to this song, I believe it's on <coughs> Spotify and iTunes, right? Actually, guys, I'm going to introduce my friend and producer of the song. What's up? <coughs> this is Rafi, guys. Go check it out. Where's the song available? It's, it's not. No, it's, it's not going to work. Fuck that. you. This is, I'm gonna include this part. What? <laughs> hey guys, so that was the video, but I wanted to announce something. Like I said, which is kind of making viral content might be tricky, it might be weird, and it might be scary. I'm about to do something tricky, weird, and scary, which is go travel to Europe alone. So I wanted to do a Dharma Nation meetup. So if you guys are in Europe and you're in the following cities, Amsterdam, London, Paris, Please come out and meet me. I'd love to hug you and meet you. There'll be more details soon, but check out these dates and let me know if you can come if you live in those cities or comment below your city so I know where to visit you next. As an influencer and creator, we're all trying to be in this together. And at the end of the day, it is competitive out there, but we should all be community oriented and support each other. So comment below what you're from. You know, guys, comment, like network in the comment section. I literally see you guys talk to each other and grow with each other, which means the world to me. Go download the song on iTunes and tag me on your Instagram story if you're listening to it uh it was a joke i swear i'll catch you guys very soon oh and shout out to the comment winner shout out to the comment winner comment on this post to be featured in the next episode if you want to be the next comment winner again comment below where you're from and what you thought about this video and actually let me know what you think about flex on the gram it was looking one of the scariest things i've done but i really had so much fun and i'm so proud of this project thank you to rocky for producing it and thank you to Haley and ryan i will link them all below and check them out you guys in the next one thank you so much for watching i'll catch you very soon Flex on the gram, like 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 on the gram. Flex on the gram, like 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 on the gram. Flex on the gram, like flex on the gram.